a weighty decision, ya Rin Shrine. Hey everybody, it's time to make some weighty decisions around these parts. Back again playing Breath of the Wild. Seems incredibly obvious what to do, possibly. Um, if you guys missed last episode, god dang, we got to Luberlin Village and it's a butte. It's a beaut of a village. This actually reminds me of a puzzle in my maker. Just saying. Also, I like how, uh, <laughs> I think it was just last episode. I said, I asked if uh, I was doing really good or if the dungeon was, uh, easy. And you guys responded that the dungeon was just easy. So, long story short, still suck at the game. But hey, maybe I'll get better one day. I don't need this boat or God damn it. I was gonna use it to frickin'. Eh. Wait, is this the same? It has like nearly the same effect, I think. This one has attack up, the other one has attack up. I was gonna use the uh, boat or eventually to see if we could paddle with it, but I don't know, fuck it. We'll probably find another one. What's the, uh, what's the deal? Is there something back there that I gotta? Can I use the, I could probably use the same freaking block. The same freaking block, maybe, I don't know. Only one way to find out. It's like this. You take it, you smash it on the wall a bunch of times, just to make sure that it's not a sentient being that will murder you and your family, because god damn it, it's happened before, man. Blocks are vicious. Put this guy down. <laughs> Is this a boat or? Yes, Link, it's a boat or. Can we please move? Um, how close are we? <laughs> are we almost done? I'm really eager to explore Lurelin Village. Like, that's... I said it last episode, but god dang it, I'm so excited because this is like the first time- Wait, do we still need the- Oh man, it's like the companion cube! We still need them, sort of. Probably. Come with me. <laughs> it's too bad you can't smash yourself in the face. I like how, um, by the way, um, everybody in the fucking universe has done their Let's Plays of this game, but I'm still on- Episode 7, 80, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever, the 81, I don't know. Um, which one corresponds to, the, it's probably this, right? No? Oh, oh, it's, got it. It's the fucking opposite one. Frickin' opposites attract, god damn it. Can I, um, can I just lift it and have it be okay? Wait, I need to put it down? Oh my god, this makes it so friggin' tedious. I nearly just smashed myself in the face with it, which would not have been good and probably would have killed any other man. Okay, I could get this at least. That's all I want. I don't need to use the other one yet. Probably. Opal, oh joy. Because I still totally remember what to use that for. I... <laughs> Actually, have we ever figured it out? We probably have. It's like for crafting something or something. I don't know. I kind of forget. Um, how does that- Why did that go down there? Fuck it. Am I done? G Thanks for giving me the tune of you're done. Goodbye, little cube. I'll miss you. There's never anything behind it. Why do I check? I'll see you guys outside. Oh man, it's sunny. When I went in there, it was rainy as fuck. I think I ended last episode on- a rainy note. What is that? Oh, there's torches over there, like a little watchtower. This is beautiful. Hello, Lurelin. It's me, ya boy. Is this music familiar to me? No, <laughs> it's not familiar. Every time I enter a new village now, I'm gonna expect it to be like a cameo song, like friggin' Dragon Roost Island Rito Village. I, I'm looking at you, my boy. Oh, it's gonna rain again soon. That's good. What is this? Just a thing, just a thing. That's cool. I like things. Goodbye now. The, um, this doesn't seem like it'd be very good protection from the elements. Just saying, everybody who lives here, maybe you should move to, like, Katano. It's not that far. I mean, it's- I would live here, man. It's pretty. Oh, somebody has a quest for me. How you doing, Hum Hummer? Are you a traveler? This is Lowerlin Village. We're a small fishing town and proud of it. For some reason, I'm giving her a manly voice, but she's a woman. My husband is a fisherman, and I have two sons who will probably grow up to be fishermen too. God damn it, I hate fishing. What should I cook for tonight's dinner? Fucking fish? God damn it. Make your seafood paella. P -p -l. It's so good and yummy and great, and I don't know how to say it. That settles it. I'll make some seafood. Yay! 
We seem to be a bit short on ingredients, though. We'll need goat butter and a hearty blue shell snail. I'm so busy with housework that I don't have time to go shopping for ingredients. Oh, I know! Could you get me the ingredients we're missing? You got it! Because every quest in this game is getting people fucking ingredients for their dinner. Really? I'm real- I'm happy to hear that. I'll be waiting. You got it, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Nintendo! Um, maybe next Zelda game? Give me a quest that's not, um... That's not getting people their ingredients for dinner. That'd be great. It's only like two now. I'm just complaining for some reason. Um, all of these are like really barren and empty and it really upsets me. They're really pretty though. Oh man, the, the, the fucking weather changed. This is probably my favorite fucking village so far. Maybe. It's just so nice. Also, oh, hey little dude, where are you off to? <laughs> Have you heard? There's this really interesting spot at Pal Pal Palmore Beach. <laughs> it takes me a second to get these names. I went there with Gari Garini before, see? And it was so exciting. He said they were ruin- they were ruins or something? Hey mister, are you interested in old stuff like that? I fucking am! Then I'll take you there! Follow me! I'll lead the way, Zuda. Are you going right now? Why do- here, people that make games, answer my question if you can. You do not have to go under the fucking house, kid. I guarantee- hold on. I guarantee it. Sorry, I needed my palm fruit. Why is it that, um... Why is it that the lighting engine in this game only is, like, a- around a square of Link? Like, there's an invisible square of good lighting around Link, and then everything else freaks out. I'll show you what I mean. I think it's when I pass, like, shadows like this. Yeah, see? Why is it, like, right in front of me? Shit starts to get cut off in shadows. I have no idea, but I've seen it in other games, too. Maybe Maybe it's something are we nearly there kid like holy shit. I didn't know that I was signing up for a fucking triathlon Okay, let's go. Oh, it's raining. I just realized that it's a fucking hurricane better hope it's worth it kid There's probably still good weather at the village. Oh, maybe not <laughs> looks like it's being hit by a fucking monsoon um I mean, for real? <laughs> what are we doing, dude? You got a- you got- you got any fucking idea where we're going? Is it just up here? Do I hang a left? You can just give me audible directions. Where'd you go? Oh, he was fucking raptured. Good. Oh, wait, for real? Kid? Kid? Did you- Oh, I still hear him groaning. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! Come back! We're only a portion of the way there, you fucking idiot! Don't you dare- No! You don't need food! Are you fucking with me, kid? We ha- we Go eat. Go eat. It's so important, Zuda. Fine, I'll see if I can find it myself. Jesus Christ, short attention span. He's got like the peanut brain. He's the biggest peanut brain of them all. Did he take me here? Oh, I forgot that I slide in the rain, don't I? So I gotta like jump, fall, climb, 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 jump, fall, climb, 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 jump! <laughs> so epic for something that's not at all that epic. Yeah, it's not up there, also. He was probably gonna hang a left, right? Or was he gonna hang a right? Get it? Because I said right, it's barely a joke. Hey, how you doing? I should probably not just go around slashing things. Weapons have durability. Dude, I wasn't going to kill you! Even though I alluded to the fact that I was. Is this it? What is that? Uh, we still need rush room. Fucking kid. God damn it. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Hey, Stone Talus, how you doing? Oh, fuck. Um. Okay, like. Da -da 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 -da. Whoa! <laughs> I forgot you fucking threw your arm at me. Oh, he throws both of them! Stop that, you piece of garbage. Can I climb you? Like, just, uh... Oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for earlier. <laughs> oh, you're so fucked now, dude. You're fucked! You hear me? F to the U to the C to the K to the E to the D. I can barely spell. I can barely spell. I have not a hard time spelling, but a hard time audibly saying the letters to spell, apparently. Can you just please show me your fucking backside? <laughs> little, little pro tip for the people still in the dating game. 
You see a, a hot woman. You want to see her backside. You say, please show me your goddamn backside. It's just a little tip. Works every time. Don't do that. You will probably get assaulted. <laughs> you probably won't get assaulted. That's verbal assaultion. Assaultion's not a word. God damn it. Ah, oh, it's assault. The word is assault. Why is Link so orange? Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> stone talus, you see what you're doing to me. This could possibly be the first stone talus that somebody finds. I guess technically every stone talus could be that. But like, this one is... Like... Lurland Village is fuck you, dude. I was running. Lurland Village is relatively close to like Hateno. Like you could you could possibly get there real soon. I should really not just be using arrows. Oh, so my bow's about to break. So that's really. You okay, dude? Can I click? See, I have problems trying to climb him. I just noticed something. I think this stone talus is different. Or is every stone talus is weak point in a different spot? Cause like, if that's true, then I only just noticed. And I feel like a little bit of an idiot. Da, 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 da. There goes my bow. <laughs> Fuck. I hate how you have to fucking go in your pause menu to change the bow. Is there something better that I should be using? Yeah, I mean, that's better, but... Should I use it now? Probably not. I could use one of the shotgun bows. I'm getting a lot of these. Fuck it. I'll use it. Would this shoot three frost arrows? That seems ridiculous. If I had to guess, it'll probably shoot one frost arrow and two normal arrows. <gasps> Please, sir. That would kill a man. You don't understand. Oh, is it? Oh, can we settle our differences and go watch the sunset? It's probably really pretty. It's probably gorgeous, but you're still sitting here being a dickhole. All right. At least now it's not raining, so I can do one of these. <laughs> Sick tactic for no reason because he turned around really quick. I don't like where your weak spot is, sir. It almost is exclusively arrow shots unless I climb on you like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. And then do one of these. Da, da, da. <laughs> God damn it. I'm pretty sure all of the damage I've done to him so far was through arrows, which is not good. Like, excuse me, can I, can I, can I suck your dick for ten dollars, but also can I get under you? <laughs> I thought this was a tactic. It's not a tactic. You don't suck his dick. Okay, this is getting a little freaking ridiculous. Like, let's try this. No! Nope! Ah, <laughs> sucker. I'm way up here, you idiot. You idiot. Oh, why did I do that? Where am I? Oh, I'm nearly on him. Excuse me. I'm just gonna check check this shit. I don't want to target that actually. Stop. Okay. Sure. Whatever. I'll target it. Oh no, that's his weak point. That's his weak point. That's not Opal game. You silly goose. You're marking his weak point as Opal. We've been. Uh, we could have watched the sunset, but you had to go and ruin shit, didn't you, Stone Towers? You piece of garbage. This is working actually really well. You're dead. All right, I'm gonna go catch the moon rise without you, you piece of shit. Was that kid trying to bring me here? Because if he was, what a douche. Like, what an absolute douche wa wagon. I don't think this is where he wanted to make me go, though. That's just, um, like some kind of fucking ore, right? Probably. Um, do stone taluses come back in blood moons too probably literally everything that has a set spawn location comes back during a blood moon if i had to guess so there's your answer me all right it seems very plausible that the kid was probably not taking me there but instead over here is there something going on over there that's interesting you guys ever played wind waker maybe there's a big octo over there who knows is this is this where the kid was trying to take me was the kid genuinely trying to take me all of this way? Like, I feel like possibly I missed it. Oh wait, Palmore Ruins. Oh, and it's a fucking shrine because duh. How you doing? I see you. Don't pretend like I can't see you, you piece of shit. What would you do if I came over to you real quick and gave you a little wake up call? Huh? What'd you do for a Klondike bar? Ah, oh, fuck yeah, that's how you do it. What the fuck? And from his ashes rise more dead things. How do I... I hope everything that's here 
are that's necessary for me to get into this. I kind of want that broadsword. Is it? Is there something that's probably weaker? Not really. Um, but I hope everything that's necessary to get into the shrine is here. Like, there's no shrine quest that I'm missing. I mean, it seems probable because there's like a fucking thing over there, which I've not seen before. Okay, what does the soldier's broadsword do again exactly? <laughs> what does the boko horn do again? God damn it. Oh, it's not that great. I kind of forget a lot of the, um, the, the, the weapon, um, damages. I guess soldiers, like, that's a tier, right? There's soldiers broadsword, there's soldiers like, wait, what? This isn't two shrines, right? Unless it's two shrines, what am I looking at? Uh, hey, how you doing? Uh, what is this? Because this, huh, this looks oddly familiar. Is this not supposed to look familiar? Cause like... No... It kinda reminds me of something on a Skyward Sword that's not really that spoilery. You guys remember the little gear gate? It kinda reminds me of that. Is that what... It's not what this is supposed to be. Anyway, how you doing? Hmm... No! Oh! Sorry about that, I was in the zone. Did you need something? Uh, what are you doing? Ah. I was just examining this stone monument. This place has a very spiritual aura to it. Do you feel it? Mm. I recently realized that there is writing engraved on the stone monument. So now I'm trying to figure out what exactly is written here. Can I help? Mm. I can't read, but I'll try. <gasps> ah, so you're the curious type too. This stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. Hey. If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments, will you? They'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had the same kind of script carved on, into them. If you find a fragment, uh, please draw a picture. Take draw a picture of it and bring it to me. I'll be there here finishing my my examination of this stone monument. All right. And the words on the stone monument glow with an eerie light at night. Uh, that should make them easier to find. Ah. One of them should be right around here, please, find that first. So, the reason why he probably wants me to take a picture is because I could actually track them then. But like, I guess? Is that what I'm understanding? Probably. So there's one around here, and it's gonna glow. That would be really useful if I had Rivali's Gale um, right now. <laughs> but I don't. I'd like just get up really high and then do my thing. Sorry for the cut, I thought somebody made a noise, but oh shit, I found it. I, oh yeah, I gotta take a picture of it. God dang it. Where's my camera? This is suspicious. Hmm, save that shit. I kinda hope they're all around this area, or is this gonna be like a giant map exploration thing? Cause if it is, that makes no sense, Nintendo. You just said it broke down in an earthquake. How big was the earthquake? Did it shake the parts all the way to the other side of the continent? Hey man, I got your god dang picture. Did you find any fragments of the stone monument? I sure did. It's right here. See, I took it on my iPad. See it? Oh! Hmm. Hmm. Some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. I suppose the waves may have washed some way or pulled them underwater. The letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night. Ah. Uh, Underwater? I can't even... I can't go under the water. Oh, I can use, um... McJigger on it, though. The, uh, the ice thing. <laughs> so that means they all have to be relatively close to a shore. Like, they can't be, like, super submerged. I'm assuming Nintendo would automatically assume that you would, um... Probably come out immediately after he says that to, like, this. So there's probably gonna be one, like, right here. And when I say probably, I'm really just fucking hoping. Possible. Maybe not! Maybe they... aren't gonna be that kind to me. How many fragments are there total? I'd love to know. I mean, the guy didn't really say, but I, I mean, how would he know? I guess that would kind of break the... the whole... illusion of the game. Uh... Yeah, I'm not finding one. We're just... 
<laughs> Splashing in the moonlight, baby. We're just we're just going for long walks on the beach. Party blue shell snail. Good. <laughs> it's all I wanted in life. Wait, no, I also wanted this. Hey, how you doing? Um, do I just take pictures of them? There's one. I mean, huh? They look like quarters, don't they? And there was half of it left, so am I done? No, probably not. It's not gonna be that easy, right? Tell me it's gonna be that easy, good sir. That lizard just went right under the fucking sand. I watched it happen. You can't tell me it didn't happen. Let me see this. Uh... I guess it could probably be in thirds. Maybe there's three parts total. He's gonna tell me, probably. Hey, man. Hey. Did you find any fragments? Yeah, there you go. Took another picture for you. You like it? <laughs> I was just showing him a symbol. <laughs> What? Mm. Uh, some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. Aww. I wonder if the currents are strong enough to have carried a fragment all the way to the Cape Cr Cape Crescia or Soka Point. The letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night. Okay. Can I have that on my map? <laughs> oh wait, no I can't. <laughs> because I fucking all right i need to this is a star this star Your symbolizes scale is now jesus christ it scares me every time that star symbolizes this quest that we probably are nearly done um i guarantee it probably says the places that he mentioned just now on the map but in order to read the map we first have to acquire the map believe it or not so i guess we'll have to try that also I should note something real quick. This is the first episode I'm recording the commentary straight through the Elgato software. I've always done the commentary through Audacity, but if you guys remember from yesterday's Mario and Luigi episode, um, I kept having trouble with Audacity, and I'm hoping that it was specifically Audacity and not just like a mic issue. This is my way of finding out. If this works and everything sounds fine and normal, then I'm just gonna do this from now on, because this is actually much easier, and I don't know why I didn't do this sooner, but fucking, maybe it's because I'm a fucking idiot. Hey, how you doing, man? <laughs> oh, I clobbered him right in the friggin' head. Sorry, dude. Why does it always rain when I get here? It was so pretty that one time that I was here, and it wasn't raining. If there's an inn here, maybe I'll stay the night. Well, it's nearly morning, and the rain's about to clear up anyway. Are you trying to ram me? Dude, fuck off. We're all just trying to get a, our own ways in life. You could still leave without me having to kill you. Um, yeah, because Luralin Village so far has given me a quest to, to get, like, fucking ingredients. That reminds me of Mario Sunshine. Oh, good times. One day I'll do it on the channel when it comes to Virtual Console on the Switch. Maybe. Probably. Definitely soon. Right, Nintendo? Welcome! You must be tired from your long trip. Do you want to stay? A normal bed would be 20 rupees if you want to soothe your body and soul. <laughs> Paper Mario. I can offer you the fluffy bed. Yeah, I don't want either. Thanks. Rip off. I could sleep in the fucking bush, lady, you dunce. It started to rain. Yeah, it sure fucking did. How you doing? Oh, rain is the worst. It really makes me miss home. I like rain. <laughs> what a fucking weirdo. Oh my god. Well, good talk to me, you bitch. Hey, is it you? It is Zuda, you fucking douche. Did you eat? Did you eat? Did you eat? Because if you didn't eat, it just adds insult to injury, kid. Um, is there like an armor shop or anything of value here at all? <laughs> Besides a bunch of empty homes and it looking pretty? There's a cooking pot. Not that that means much. This is the lady that gave me the thing before. Huh. I mean, this episode is pretty much going to consist of... Um, just exploring Luralin Village. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, there's more rain. You a traveler? I'm a fisherman of this village, but we're in a bit of a bind lately. Monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull in a haul at Eris Beach, but these days you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. 
You look pretty tough. Think you could go take care of them? Fucking yes, Nintendo! I can definitely go kill things in this game where you can kill stuff. Not get you dinner. By the way, on the way home, could you pick up a quart of milk? I'm running low. Thank you. Remember, it's called Eris Beach. The monsters have set up shop there. Stay sharp. Their shop has bad items. They'll rip you off. It's a little joke that we say, us fishermen's. Goodbye. Oh, he's already gone. <laughs> um, what is this? Rain, rain, go away! Hello. You a traveler? Welcome to Lowerland Village. I'm Rosal. I'm the head of this village. Feel free to ask me any questions you have about local things. Yeah, about the village. <laughs> Lowerland Village is a, f a fishing village. When I was younger, I used to be a fisherman myself, but then I took a rod to the knee. But you can't go out fishing on a rainy day like this shit. It's just too fucking dangerous. Sorry about my language. There are some fishermen here who amuse themselves with a treasure chest game too. Uh, what? Oh. That's right. Cloyne runs a shop where you can test your luck in his treasure chest game. Something of value for our village of no fucking substance so far, if you catch my drift. It's fun to try every once in a while, but definitely don't go crazy with your savings. Anything else? Yeah, uh, how about Eventide Island, which I don't know how I fucking know about in the first place. The large island in the sea to the east of this village is- Oh no. Is this the one that you guys are like, mm, don't go there yet, don't do it. <laughs> There are some legends about that island, so the village fishermen tend to avoid it whenever possible. Yeah, please tell me about it. When you're on the island, you start hearing voices. I don't know if it's real or just a dream, though. It might be all the weed you smoke on the way there. Anything else? Yeah, uh, ruins? If you walk east from the village and keep going for a bit, you'll end up at Palmore Beach. There are some old ruins there. One of the youths from the village, Garini, goes there often to poke around. Garini visits the ruins often, even when it rains. When you're interested, or if you're interested, you should definitely go check them out. Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. All right, if you think of anything else to ask, come on back and talk. Yeah, I will. Probably not, because the game is probably not going to present me with more options. Unless it does. Surprise me, game. What's up here? This entire episode is just checking out this place. I think it's cool, though. I mean, we spent the entire frickin' episode doing it, so might as well continue just doing it, if you, if you feel me. I know there's a treasure chest game, because old geezer boy said so. He looked like, um, f ah, fuck, I'll never remember his name, never mind. Fuck it. Oh, is this a shop? Huh. Affordable and delicious. Hey, welcome, you're a new face. Fresh fish, just recently caught, take a look. No. Huh? Come again, I'll be waiting. I don't need probably any of this. It's cool that they sell octo balloons. Shock arrows. Air ooh. 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 Are these bundles? Arrows. Yeah, um, twenty dollars a piece. That's five, ten, fifteen. You only have fifteen? Where does it say the amount that they have? Whatever. I'll I'll take them all. 60 rupees, that's fine. See ya, money. Didn't need you anyway. Well, I mean, I always need money. Um, God, this seriously reminds me of Mario Sunshine. Is this your stock, ma'am? Hopefully not, because I just destroyed it and I'm about to destroy this crate, too. Just don't mind me. If you need it, I'm sorry. Did it yield anything? If it did, it's in the ocean now. Um, odd. I feel like I've explored the village, but I have not once seen the chess game, unless this is it. Seems likely, unless this is the... <laughs> Fuck off, cricket! Unless this is the, um... Yeah, it is. Where is the... Oh, there's a thing here. There's a little rupee symbol. Hello? I'd like to try the chess game. Yeah, this is totally it. Place your bets! Oh. Uh. Psst! Come here, no closer. How'd you like to be rich with... Whoa, Link, no need to be on guard, dude. <laughs> Why is he so scared without having to work for it? Oh, sorry, I spliced your sentence. I don't even remember what you said. Hey, hey, simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those chests over there? What do you say to, uh, what do you say to a little wager on them? 
The best idea if, is you pick any chest you want and open it. Simple, right? The best part is, whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. <laughs> Don't come crying to me if you pick wrong. Before you go opening any boxes, you'll have to show me what's what it's worth to you. What's a bet, after all, if you don't stand to lose a bundle on it? That's the part that really gets a man's heart racing. It's up to you how much you want to throw in, but for but the more you bet, the more you stand to win. A man like you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash right here, right now, am I right? What do you say? All, you have, all you've got to lose is your pride and your money. Ooh. Uh, all right, shifty chest man, you got it, boy. Now for the million rupee question, how much are you betting? One hundred rupees! <laughs> you guys told me to save my rupees. It was for this, right? Definitely. Whoops, skipped it. I'll go get it set up. No peeking while I'm fiddling with the chests, got it? Ah. You got it. There we go, step right up and take your chance. Take all the time you need to choose a chest to open. Look, listen, smell, taste them if you think it'll help. Can I taste them? Can I taste them? Just give it up. Licked it. Licked it. Um, got it. Just need to pull out my lens of truth. If you guys catch my drift. I've not played Ocarina of Time, I just get the references. I know a lot about Ocarina of Time. Well, sort of. I... I don't know. There's a lot that I don't know, though. Um... Nee. Is there a trick to this? My gut's telling me this one! <laughs> it's gonna be so wrong. <sighs> I just <laughs> lost 99. Them's the breaks, but hey, surely you'll win big next time. You're gonna keep going, right? Or do you want admit defeat? You know I'm in. You know I'm in, boy. Here's another ten rupees. Just tipping a dough in the toe in the one <laughs> a dough. I'll go and set up. God damn it! I'm gonna lose all my money. You guys remember when we went snowling? God damn it! Middle. You never pick the middle one. I'm a fucking idiot. All right, I'm done. I get it. I lost. Thanks, guy. Them's the brakes. Fuck off. I'm not doing this anymore. I don't know what you just said. I'm sorry, I skipped through it. That is gonna be it for this episode. Oh my god, it's so nice out now. It's a little bit foggy, actually. Almost looks humid. Um, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this episode, please give it a like. If you guys want to subscribe for the remainder of the Let's Play, please do so. Come back next time for, um, just exploration, I guess. Exploration around the area. Hopefully we'll find the tower because that's probably necessary for us to easily complete that one shrine quest. And then we'll do the shrine quest, and we'll do all the other quests Quests we got here. Crests. We'll do all the crests! You name a crest, we'll do it! Anyway, thanks for watching. Come back next time for the ultimate crest time. <laughs>